Oh shit. That is fucking cool. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Sir Rugged Balls here and we are back with episode 20 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. Um, yeah, ever since I got the Soul Speed 3 on these boots, it's just super visually taxing just to walk over Soul Soil or Soul Sand. It looks like character just in this ridiculous FOV, like this drunk mode or something. It's just super annoying, um, but I just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, yeah, 20 episodes, that's kind of a lot. Um, I would not have thought I would make it this far, being completely honest. But if you want to see episode 100, make sure you um, make a bunch of fake YouTube accounts and subscribe on all of them. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, this episode, I wanted to work more on our, sort of our nether hub area, making it look a little bit better, work on the um, aesthetics of it a little bit. Uh, we worked on Magma Cube Farm, but this is kind of an eyesore down here. Um, plus, just this whole area, the walls are all underdeveloped and stuff. Um, so I got, between episodes, I got a bunch of materials uh, for everything. I got some nether, uh, red nether bricks is what we're going to be using sort of to accent our blackstone. Um, so I got two whole chests just of raw blackstone here. And then I got a double chest of some polished blackstone bricks along with some stairs, slabs, and walls and stuff. Um, also got some basalt in case we want it. Um, red nether bricks. We got some, yeah, I got some soul, si uh, soul sand. Um, and magma blocks if we want to add those in somewhere. Or maybe use them for, for something. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but then we also have uh, some glass and lava I'm going to use. I have an idea that I want to use for some lava. Like a cool little dispenser, hopper clock thing with lava. But I'm not really sure if I'm going to use that yet. But I figured I might as well set that up. Uh, and then I have some materials from each of the warped and crimson forests in case uh, we want to use those um, as well. So I'm going to get started probably. I'll probably just make one of these little um, entrance ways or maybe even work on the roof a little bit. I'll probably make one of them just to get the sense of what it might look like. And then I'll probably work on adding the walls down there um, and the walls up here and then maybe something for the roof. I'm thinking it'll, it'll look kind of be like a dome. Um, but not quite a dome dome. You know what I mean. No, you don't. Um, anyway, um, I'm thinking it'll eventually look kind of like a dome. Or at least some sort of rounded top or something like that. But I'm going to start just by working on uh, just one little part of it. And then I'll probably see if I like the... Um, see if I like it and then I can expand it from there. Alright guys, so I updated the nether hub just a little bit. I added some walls going around our magma cube farm which is working quite splendidly, by the way. Um, but this is also the first gate I worked on. Um, not sure it's going to be the final design, but it's one that I kind of like. Played around with a lot of different ones, and this is the one that I end up uh, settling on for now. Um, I like the inside of this, um, like these pillars and stuff. I don't know if I like the outside of it yet. Um, but I'm going to start duplicating this, and then I want to put something on each of these like corner pieces or something. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, but I'll figure that out later. But for now I'm going to work on sort of copying this little design um, in the other three directions. Alright guys, so I finished up the four, the four main cardinal directions in each little gate with that. Um, so I think I'm going to save this um, intermediary part until I've sort of completed the uh, like the, the top area. And I think I want to do a little bit kind of like a dome thing. Um, but I obviously need to clear out a lot more space. Um, so I'm probably going to put this in the form of a time lapse. Uh, of just me sort of clearing out more area. And maybe starting building uh, the dome a little bit too. Um, it's going to take a lot of revamping. Um, but first I need to get rid of a lot more blocks. Because it's going to be pretty going to be pretty tall. Um, but yeah, I'll get started with that. I'll probably put it in the form of a time lapse because it's probably easiest. Um, so yeah, here it is.
Bitch, I'm stepping. Might fuck Carly Ray Jepsen. Rolly Futuristic stole a piece of Mr. Jepsen whipping solos while I be gold teeth flexing. You ain't up on my level, you can be up in my section. No, I can't let another bitch do me like this. She got a 10k whip, I got a 10k wrist. And for y'all who stitch loose, slip sink ships. And I ain't quitting this till I got 10 whips. I'ma do it, do it, do it, do it. Rolly Presidential got my wrist looking stupid. Getting all the screen smoking shit that I'm moving. Fucking on a bitch and a man looking clueless. I'ma do it, do it, do it. Do it. Rolly presidential got my wrist looking stupid. Getting all the screen smoking shit that I'm moving. Fucking on a bitch and a man looking clueless. I'ma do it. Do the shit just like Nike. Lots of bands in my pockets don't excite me. And an X man trying to fight me. Talking shit, you were struck, no lightning. Back it up, little bitch, back it up. Got a bitch so thick, I'ma spill my double cup. Got a bitch up in the club and she finna act up. But I'm about to get faded, holding one pup. But I'ma do it, do it, do it, do it. Rolly presidential got my wrist looking stupid. Getting all the screen smoking shit that I'm moving. Fucking on a bitch and a man looking clueless. I'ma do it, do it, do it, do it. Rolly presidential got my wrist looking stupid. Getting all the screen smoking shit that I'm moving. Fucking on a bitch and a man looking clueless. I'ma do know, it. Ho? I be doing great. I'm dressing like I was from Soho. Little bitch gon' set me up right after I finish with the show though. Throwing up my check like the name was Tony Romo. Catch me with the piece cause you know I be on GoMo. Bitch. And I had a good ass morning, you would think that I'm a bird, how I look when I'm soaring Bitches that ain't foreign, yeah, you know that they be boring Yo, fuck boys, you be fruity, you be fruity like an orange Hold up, you be fruity like a rainbow I think you lost your hoe, cause I just found it in my Range Rover I gotta twist it up, but I ain't talking Dr. Strange ho CLT my city, yeah, this place is where you can't go No, just like Earl State with the sweatshirt Lil' ho, don't call me cold, cause my diamonds under pressure If bro on the track, everybody going stupid While you sitting on your ass, I'ma go and I'ma do it All right, guys, so I finished up sort of the main structure of the dome. Um, this is what it's going to look like structurally. I think I'm going to add a lot more um, accent with uh, this red nether brick. Also, probably some magma blocks, maybe some lava. Um, so definitely going to add a lot more flavor to this as we go on. But I want to try something cool with this creeper face here. So we have one like this on our sugarcane farm, but I want to do sort of like a retractable one where I can get it to like go out and go back in. I mean, it may not make much sense right now, but I'm going to see if I can't get it to work. Um, either way, um, once I get that to work, then I'll start working on sort of finishing up the walls here, and then we'll work a little bit more in the overworld. And then, um, yeah. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to see if I can't get this to work real quick. Oh shit, that is fucking cool. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Holy shit. What? That's fucking sick. Oh my god, it works. Alright, yeah, so basically you can see what I did. I um, hooked up some target blocks down there and uh, hook that up to sort of our piston mechanism for pushing down the creeper face and I don't think this will be this won't be the permanent spot for the target blocks I'll probably put them I don't know somewhere a little easier to hit maybe like over there or something um, but for now it's wired up properly at least uh, to work I think that's pretty cool alright yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna start working on uh, sort of the, the rest of this, so like the outsides of this um, part of it. I'm um, probably going to be furnishing up adding a lot of uh, the red nether brick stuff, and then um, I'll get back to it once I've made uh, some progress. Alright guys, so I've added a significant amount to the dome structure. I um, added sort of these lava, lava lakes going down. I replaced magma blocks behind um, those gateways with just flowing lava uh, and I've also hooked up sort of the four um, these four target blocks to the uh, to the creeper face I'm um, gonna put them on these sort of corners I thought it looked pretty cool um, not really sure how I want it to work yet um, right now it's just sort of on like a short little pulse where it'll just show up and sort of disappear uh, but I may have it on a toggle switch eventually too where I can get it to 
turn on and off. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys the redstone for that um, in case you were curious because it's pretty simple. Um, I take uh, just an output from the target block. I put some dust on top of it and then using some repeaters I run it through this big array. Now basically what this does is it's going to delay this entire line is just going to be one tick behind the next line. So that way it sort of um, goes in order, you know, so like um, like the, I guess the eyes of the creeper, the mouth of the creeper is going to go first and the eyes will finish. Um, but basically it all goes in order because of these uh, repeaters I have here. The redstone is pretty simple. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll probably work next on um, like these little um, corner pieces of just the dome. I'll probably leave um, this like these corner walls for another time because um, I'm eventually going to want to put some different um, farms and stuff inside of them. Um, right now I'm thinking of having uh, another wart farm somewhere, um, maybe a gold uh, a piglin bartering area, something like that. Um, we'll need a gold farm for that. Um, and then maybe like a crimson and um, warped uh, tree farms or something like that. Um, but for the time being, I'll leave those sort of empty, and I'm going to work on sort of adding some decorations to just, just, just this corner piece. Um, probably add some, it'll probably be some lava and some red nether bricks. Um, but for now, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, so I'll check back in once I've done some more work on the sides of this. Alright guys, so I just finished adding up some more details to the roof of our nether hub here. Kind of like how it looks. I added some extra streaks of lava. I uh, moved all the target blocks to the corners, kept this uh, some red nether brick there in the side, and then added some of these uh, basalt pillars on each of the corners. Uh, I think eventually I might get it to where they're more themed in the corners. So like even up there I might have the theme um, go along with whatever sort of in this uh, corner. Like uh, if we put like the crimson forest down here we could have something crimson themed maybe in that, um, that area over there. Um, but as for today it's probably all we're going to work with the nether hub. I'm pretty excited how it looks. I think it looks good. Um, and then I'm going to have to figure out a way to have these magma cubes quit spawning over here. I might change this out with lava so the light level's higher or something like that. Um, but anyway, the rest of the episode I want to spend in the overworld. There is a few things that I haven't done that I kind of want to get done. Um, or at least start on to set us up um, for future episodes. So right now all we have for our animals is just um, cows and sheep. Or pigs, sorry cows and pigs um, just for food we don't have any of the other ones we don't have chickens or rabbits or anything um, I think I do have some sheep down there tethered um, but I want to especially the one I especially want to get is the horses so my idea um, probably in the next episode is going to be uh, under this ledge I want to have uh, like horse stables and sort of butcher butcher areas because we don't really have an area for the butcher yet um, so we can terraform this um, ledge, add some horse stables, maybe find a couple good horses. Um, plus it might give us a better way to transport ourselves around because uh, running's kind of getting old and there's only so many speed potions I can brew. Um, but yeah, I want to go find some, some more animals, uh, even if we can get some rabbits or something like that. Um, just any animals I think we can find and bring back to the village, um, we'll try to find an area for eventually. But I especially want to find um, the horses. So right now I brought some leads and some saddles with me. Um, and I'm going to go out and find some horses. Oh, I think I see one. So this guy's probably going to suck. I have to guarantee that he sucks. Alright, I see a bunch of them. A lot of white stallions it seems. This guy's got a decent amount of health. Any fucking day now. Really, after all that, you're gonna fucking kick me off? This guy better be good. Oh, look, you got, there you go. This guy sucks. He's barely any faster than fucking walking. Piece of shit. Alright, someone's gotta do better. Stakes are high. 
If you suck, you die. It's pretty simple. This guy's walking a little, a little faster, perhaps. Okay, okay. All right, this guy's not bad. He's got way less health, but I mean, well, I'm just gonna take this guy and we'll come back and grab another one. I don't really know entirely how horse breeding works, but I'm hoping it's um, relatively beneficial to the breeder and not just a total crapshoot. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Depends on how much thought they put into it. All right, your day of reckoning has come. Are you gonna be trash or what? Come on, unbelievable. Don't you dare kick me off. Fuck you. Horse shit. Oh, there we go. This guy is dirt fucking slow. You get the fucking sword. Dumb bitch. Alright. Are you any better? You have the same you have the same amount of health. If you move at the same velocity, we're gonna have a problem. There we go, finally. This guy this guy sucks. That, I can run faster than this. That is embarrassing. You get the axe. Okay, this guy also sucks. I'm not even going to waste my time. Alright, that was a waste of my time. What up, pussy? Ha. <laughs> oh, I see one. Is this guy going to suck ass or what? I just want another, like, Michael Jordan parent. Alright, fuck you. I'm taking the bunny back. Come on. Come on, bunny. Let's go. See, this would be the point in time where somebody would name something like this, but I'm not that soft. I'm never gonna name a fucking bunny. Stupid. Ooh, more bunnies. How many can I get? Get your ass back here. All right, you guys stay here. There we go. Good. All right, I got two rabbits. I'm gonna go see if I can't get that horse now. Let's see what else is there? Chickens? I need chickens, don't I? I don't know if I can find a donkey. I mean, probably not gonna be able to find a donkey, but we'll find one eventually. All right, give up. Serious? You better be good. There we go. Okay, this guy's kind of fast. I wouldn't say he's slow. He's all right, I guess. All right, there we go. So I got these, found these two guys over there in the plains, and then this guy was like the guy that came with the village. He was, he's been in here since day one. I sort of locked him in here. Um, anyway, let's go find, um, let's go find some chickens. On second thought, there's no good reason to use uh, to go out and find chickens when I have a bunch of eggs. So I'm just going to spawn a couple of these guys in here. And then we'll uh, breed them. There we go. We got two. So I'm going for these guys to grow up and then we can breed them and start getting a lot of chickens. Um, I'm also going to bring the sheep in here for now. Um, I don't know if I want to permanently stay in there. Because I eventually want to get a whole bunch of different colors of sheep. But... I guess for now I'll bring the sheep in there. It's not a big deal. Move those legs, motherfucker. Move those legs. Alright, there we go. So now we got chickens and sheep. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for today's episode. I just finished finished up putting the animals back in the place. And I'm here in our nether hub now. Um, which looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll be working more with this um, going forward. But the next episode will probably work more in the uh, the villager project just because uh, we spent the last two episodes sort of in the nether so uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching um, and I'll see you in the next one